friends, my name is Ankur Chaudhary. I am CEO and founder of Learn Domain Technologies. Today, along with me, one of his students. So, I just want to understand that how much he is comfortable with the Oracle DB concept. So, this is the episode number seven, which we are covering for the Oracle DB mock interviews. So, this is going to be really helpful for the people who want to start their career into the Oracle DBA. So, yes, along with me, Dheeraj is there. Hi, Dheeraj, how are you? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Dheeraj, can you tell me about uh, the database? Like, let's talk about the Oracle database. So, what is RDBMS? Uh, RDBMS is a relational database management system. So, what is in the relation? Relation means uh, we, uh, we have the interface with the database uh -huh. uh, with the help of the sphere. Okay. So, it's normally, like, you know, we don't keep our data into the one table, right? Like, we have employee table is there, we have a department table is there. So both these two tables are connected to each other, maybe with the primary key and foreign key, right? So in order to get the data from these two tables, what we will do? Let's say I want to take the data of two tables. What you can do? You can use join, right? Join. What are the different different type of joins are there? Mm, inner joins, mm -hmm. uh, outer joins. Mm -hmm. mm. Left join. Left join, right join. Right join. So what is in my inner join? So it will take the what data? Common data in between your table number one and table number two. Okay, coming to the Oracle DBA concept. Let's say you want to do the database installation. Let's say you got a new server, which is a brand new server, and your client is saying that can you please install the Oracle database? So can you tell me the step by step? First of all, download software of database mm -hmm. from Oracle support. What is the version of database software? Uh, and then uh, we install it uh, on its server. Uh, we use uh, the RAM uh, and uh, what we, we use RAM and the no, RAM you need to give it to the server. server. Okay, so server is already with you. Uh, and we set kernel level setting. After that, uh, we install the uh, all type of user which uh, gets created under. Oracle database. How this user will be getting created? We uh, do the installation and um, mm -hmm. you will try okay, whatever you want to get this done. See, first of all, let's say you got a server. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is prerequisite is there. Ah, yes. In prerequisite, what are the things are there? Uh, YAM installer. YAM installer means you need to install the packages. Package. Okay, then. Uh, what this package will do? If you install pre-install, pre-installation packages, what it will do? It will create users and group. Yes. Correct. Okay. Then, then you are going to do the kernel level settings, right? Yes. All the packages are very important. Yes. Your users will be added to the groups. If you are going to download the software, upload it to the server, yes. you are going to unzip that. Okay. Yes, yes. And that, uh, but before that, you need to create a directory structure yes. like your Oracle home. Okay. So, your Oracle home should be owned by which user? Uh, Oracle home should be owned by Oracle okay. user okay. and OInstall should be the group. OInstall should be the group. Okay. Okay. Then you need to provide the permissions to that Oracle home. You are going to create a bash profile. Yes. Okay. What is bash profile? Uh, bash profile where we set the location of uh, uh, our software and uh, so that is called Oracle Home. Mm -hmm. What is the next thing? And uh, also we say the database name. Oracle? Yes, yes I yes, did. Okay. Um, the, after the source list. Okay. Like source list, like the changes what you have done, you are just going to apply it. Okay. Okay, so then let's say you have done the answer. Okay. What you are going to call? Uh, run installer. Run installer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then what options you will get in there? Installer database software only and, and uh, software plus so database. Plus database. Okay. Yes. okay. Then then you will install the database. Mm -hmm. So if I just want to install a new database, what is the utility? Uh, DBC. DBC. And if I want to start a listener. LSNRCTL. LSNRCTL. Okay. 
Let's say I want to take the backup. What utility are going to use? Uh, here I could have two data. Data uh, uh, and army. Uh, uh, or uh, logical database. Uh, logical engine uh, will use uh, data and for uh, physical utility, we use army. What are the physical files are there? Uh, data file, control file, uh, window file. Our color and uh, parameter file and password file. What is password file? Password file is uh, the file where uh, all the uh, it has all the passwords of users. Which users? Uh, which has been created under database. So let's say I created you a user. So does that your user password will be available? Yes. So your password file only contain the password of DB users, like your C system. Like let's say you create a UN user, but for that user you have provided DBA kind of permissions. Then that password will be available. Mm -hmm. What if, if I want to create a password file? What utility you are going to use? Aura PW is there. Okay. Aura PW you can use if you want to create a password, password file. Uh, let's talk about the architecture. You are comfortable with the architecture, right? Yes. Tell me the components. Oracle uh, architecture is a mixture of Oracle service instance and Oracle database. Oracle what is instance? Instance is a content memory and background process. Uh, why we require memory to the database? Operate uh, the database. Let's say someone is firing the DML or DDL operations. In order to process that, it requires memory. Mm -hmm. Correct. Then, what are the next component? Mm -hmm. It is a uh, GNU mm -hmm. system global. Uh, it consists of shared pool and data buffer catching and uh, redlock buffer. Mm -hmm. Also, shared pool consists of Library catch and data history catch. Mm, okay. Okay. What about the storage level? Um, storage level. We have data file, control file, and window file. file. Also, Atala file. Carpet. Okay. okay. So, what is this SP file and P file? That are also storage level. Okay. What does it contain? Uh, SP file will contain uh, details of all parameters uh, and uh, password. Yeah. Also, SP file is for SP file is a binary file uh, which contains all details of parameters of the database. Okay. And P file. Okay. Let's take an example. I got a situations like. Uh, my users are not able to connect to the database. My users are not able to connect to the database. What do you do? What do you check? Just to check database is uh, open. Let's uh, consider a database is running. Then, then you can uh, see the listener is start or listener is responsible to take the connection. So I see that listener is running. Then we check. Uh, the privilege which has been given to them. Okay, we can check the privilege. Okay, let's say the user is having the required permission so that he can connect to the database. Then next, there is something called the max connections. Okay, like how many users can connect to the database? The like maximum maximum is like let's say there is a threshold that like one thousand people can connect at a time. You take example of your ISDC. Like there is a limit. Like you know. Mm -hmm. So in IELTS it is like you know you have a number of connections can connect at a time and in the threshold reach okay then what you will do you can increase that parameter let's say max connection is 1000 the V dollar session is there right so session parameter is there so you can increase that value okay if I want to change any parameter what is the command let's say I want to change the parameter what is the command alter system set Processes equals to four hundred. Scope equals to VSP. Right? We use that command, right? Okay. How to shut down the database? 